Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with one of the builds that we previously have done. Uh, this thing right here is an A380 built by Endair, and what we did to it was turn it into a pickup version of this massive aircraft. What we're going to do today is get rid of these big old thingamabobbies right here, these big old vertical stabilizers. Uh, we're going to build some ramps into the center of this, and we're actually going to start loading some cargo on today. Hopefully, this will be really, really cool. I'm sure it will be. Let's get on with it. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and figure out where these go to before we do anything, and then we'll go from there. So these guys actually get sent directly into the, uh, whatever's going on down here. Let's try and figure this out. So they get sent in. Uh, and they actually go straight into the gyro, I do believe, down here. Let me just make sure that that is actually the case. Uh, try and figure out where the thing is back there. There it is. So it goes straight into the gyro on the yaw. Okay, cool. So that does mean we can sort of get rid of it. And um, design something else instead. So I'm going to delete these guys. We're going to replace them with something on the end of the wings. And then we'll go from there. All right, so we can go from there all the way to the other side. There we go. Go ahead and cut it, and uh, that's it. They're gone. They're gone. Bam. Nice. All right, cool. The rest of it is actually going to get painted in this color. That is fine for right now. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Now we need to design some new ones on the wingtips. How are we going to do that? I have literally no idea, but we're going to try. Yeah, I, I don't know how I want this to work. I think we're just going to do some vertical ones and just go with that. So... Let's go with this right here, go up, I, I don't know, a, a lot, I guess, there we go. Delete this bit on the interior of all of these, yes. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and put it on the end of the wing. Hopefully that's okay, so we'll just build this in, uh, literally just like this, there we go. And that is, yeah, that works, that's awesome. Uh, delete a bunch of this, and we'll put some control surfaces on, and then we'll go from there. So delete, like, that much of it, I guess, sure. Control surfaces... I would like to put some on the bottom and some on the top, but it doesn't matter right now, I suppose. Anyway, go ahead and get rid of this. Do it on both sides like so, because they both need to be the same, not opposite. And we'll do that like that, and we'll do this like this. And if we can fit another one, I kind of want to fit another one. Uh, so we'll put that right there. We'll then make this fit to it. Actually, that's probably fine. There we go. Delete these guys right on the top, and have it come straight out to about there. There we go. That's kind of sick. That is, that is kind of sick. I like it. Uh, put this piece right here, excellent, and then we'll go to the other side, we'll do the exact same thing, and hopefully that'll be fine. So grab one of these, put it on there directly like this, do the next one directly next to it, and how have I done the rest of this? <laughs> how have I done the rest of this? I deleted that, I deleted this, and I think I did something like this. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Maybe I deleted two of these? I have no idea. Uh, right, we need to do this on both sides, so make sure we do. There we go. Okay. Uh, delete that block right there. Excellent. Bring this out to there, I suppose. Put this on here like so. Excellent. And then whack that bit on there. Excellent. Right. So we're going to leave this pretty much as is. Uh, we are going to paint it white on the sides. Uh, and then that should be good. So paint this directly like this. There you go. Do the same thing on this side. Do the same thing on this little bit. And that's fine. Do these guys as well. And this one. And there we go. All right. It might not look as nice as it was before. But that's okay. All right, so now we need to come up with a design for a rear hatch trailer thingy mabobby, like a big old uh, thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. We need a big old ramp so that we can actually like get things onto the actual deck. Now, I feel like this is going to be the most complicated bit of this. However, if we can do it and we can get it sussed, that would be awesome. That would be really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and put that right there like this. Uh, we'll actually put it this way around. And we'll build it upwards into the sky uh, quite a lot. Now, realistically, you wouldn't want a plane like this. Because this adds a hell of a lot of drag that you really wouldn't want. But uh, it's what we're going to go with. So that's fine. We're then going to delete this bit right here. And we're going to go ahead and get one of these. And we're going to go ahead and whack it onto there. Uh, just like this, I think. So, yeah. We want... Actually, no, the other way around. The opposite. So, we're actually just going to go across here. We're going to go down to the bottom of this, pretty much. 
There you go. And at the bottom, we're going to delete these guys. We're going to have these guys slapped onto there, hoping that that works. And that's going to lower down just fine, I think. Maybe. Actually, we might need to build this slightly differently. But that's fine for now. Because otherwise, this is going to land straight. And then it's going to be able to go straight backwards. But that's not what we want. We want it to go further than that. So delete this the way that it is currently. There we go. Grab... Whoa, not that. But grab essentially this. Could it? There we go. Flip it down so that it is... Uh, this way around, I believe. Yeah, cool. And then we'll lower that down onto there. Just like this. And that should be fine. So paste this here. Merge this with this. Merge that with that. And that should work. So... The way that this actually then works is, let's get ourselves a throttle lever. <laughs> we'll be using this to actually control it, but don't worry, it's fine. So that goes there like that. We'll then have a second one for the bottom bit. So this is bottom ramp. There we go. And then this will be top ramp. There we go. So the way this works then is we need a minus number on uh, the top ramp. Du -du 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 -du. Min value, max value. So min value is going to be minus one. Top ramp is going to be minus one also. We might as well. Actually, no, we shouldn't. Zero. That's fine. And we're going to connect these on. So this is top ramp. So from there to there and there to there. Excellent. This is bottom ramp from here to here and here to here. And we'll also give these guys electricity because we should. So there you go. All the electricity to these guys and straight down to the batteries. Excellent. So that should hopefully allow us to actually get things on board. That would be brilliant. From here, this is where things get a little bit more interesting, I guess. We're going to start deleting little bits uh, in hopefully the right places. So delete that right there. Every other one of these, we're going to... Actually, every one of these, we're going to delete it. And it will be replaced with a rope anchor. And that's how we're going to attach our cargo on. Uh, the cargo that we are going to use is a bulldozer. Um, or something along the lines of a bulldozer. Ah, uh, yeah. I also know this wasn't online with it, but that's fine. I was deleting something too, too good back there, so that's fine. Anyway, delete all of these. Replace them with rope anchors. That's our job. And then we'll go from there, and hopefully we'll have something brilliant that we can load cargo onto. This will be awesome. And there we go. All right, cool. Now we're just going to go ahead and put a bunch of rope next to every single one of these uh, to make sure that we do have rope around. Actually, I'm going to have it on the deck. I'm actually just going to have it, like, on the deck like this. I know that might be weird, but we're going to go with it, and hopefully that'll be fine. So, on the deck just like so. This will allow us to actually keep things sort of central as well. It'll act as a bit of a guide when driving things on. Uh, and that'll be brilliant. So, all the way to the end with these, please. Yes. All the way down. That is excellent. That one is missing one, but that's fine. We can come back and fill that in, and we can go from there. All right, there we go. Grab this one. Put it right there. Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, and that's it. That's all we need. All right, so we're going to go from here uh, to the airport. We're going to go ahead and try and drive. It might need to be a longer ramp, but we'll see. Uh, but then we're going to drive the things up and hopefully on, and that'll be brilliant. With that being said, we do actually need uh, the end of the ramp to, to be an actual ramp. Otherwise, they won't be able to get on at all. All right, there we go. Right, let's save this and see what we can do with it. Okay, so it turns out I've built it wrong, but uh, the, the length of it is actually fine. So, oh, maybe it's not. We'll make it one more extended out a little bit. And we'll also uh, fix this issue right here. And then it should be pretty good to start loading cargo on, I think. We're going to try it anyway. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the way that this will actually need to work then is we'll actually have to grab the bottom bit. There we go, all the way to the end. That's fine. All the way to this side. Go ahead and cut it. And uh, we're going to have to actually have it fold upwards, if that makes any sense at all. So we're going to have to actually build it in like this, uh, if we want to use it the way that we are going to use it. So merge that with that. Merge that with that. And hopefully this will now work. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, maybe. <laughs> pretty sure it will. Maybe. Maybe. So, we do actually have to try and figure out if we can actually drive things up this in the center as well. If not, we're going to have to make this slightly wider. In fact, I'm going to do that anyway. We're going to make it wider anyway, uh, just to make sure that we can actually do that. So, this is going to get built to there like so. With the bottom bit, we're going to do the exact same thing. So, up to 
here if we can. Yeah, excellent. And then we're going to add these bits to the bottom, which should hopefully work as well. So there we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to like sort this out as soon as we spawn, but it's okay. It'll be fine. In fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and spawn it in as minus one to begin with, and hopefully that'll actually work out for us. So go ahead and spawn this in, and uh, let's see if this will work. Wait, I'm being silly. Of course that won't work. What am I talking about? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and extend this out like this. Uh, we will actually raise this up and then lower it down. And there we go. We actually have some ramps to allow things to drive up onto our A380. With that being said, let's go ahead and grab some cargo, drive it onto here, and see what happens from there, I guess. Why not use this vehicle right here? So this is the one that actually won our build challenge. Uh, so why not use this as our... As our... Um, thing. I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, we should be able to tie this down. We have tie downs right there. We have a tie down on the other side. And we also have a tie down on the front. Alright, we should be able to lock this down onto the aircraft. Um, whether that's actually going to be true or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get this thing started uh, and we will actually go from there. Hopefully this works. Oh, wow. Alright, being able to actually drive this on might be a bit of a pain in the butt, but we're going to try it. Okie dokie, who's ready to load the A380 with me? This is uh, going to be weird. I've got to line up perfectly, otherwise I'm going to be a bit boned here. But uh, we'll try. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's get this thing in line and just drive it up onto the aircraft. Here we go. So the ramp is wide enough. All right. We don't want to turn while on the ramp, but once we're on the aircraft, <laughs> we'll be fine. Okay, line it up so that it's ready to uh, to be tied down, and then we'll go get another one. And maybe even one more after that as well. Yeah, okay, lower this down. Okay, park it right there. We're actually... We're not quite center, but that's, that's good. Alright, cool. Tie it down, let's go. So, whack this onto there is going to be our first one. For some reason, it is turning. I'm not sure why. Let me push it back over. Okay, grab this. Whack it on there. Okay, excellent. So, we're tied down enough at least on this side. Let me go do the other side real quick. Again, because it was a bit loose. There we go. It's a bit twisted, but I'm sure it's fine. Alright, push it that way. People are super... Ah! People are super strength in this game. It's really weird. Anyway, um, move it over again. I want it tied down nicely. That is that is the case. So push it this way. Attach it onto here. Push it as far back as I can. Whack it on. Okay, then this side. We're going to push it as far that way as we can again. We're going to run around. Attach it onto here. There we go. Is that okay? I mean, this is going to be really bad when we take off. But we're going to try it. Um, yeah. So instead of using actual... Uh, rope anchors. I should have used winches in order to actually get this right. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So we have one front loader on. Let's go get another one and uh, we'll continue. Oh, wow. Actually, looking at this thing from the side, we might be able to load up way more of these than uh, than I previously thought. Um, whether the A380's engines will be able to cope with the amount of these that we have, I don't know. But uh, I want it to. So hopefully... Hopefully, with my will, uh, it will just work. Here we go. Up there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. We're still on. That's excellent. Okay, so we should be able to drive this one on. Lower down the bucket. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Bucket is coming down. Okie dokie. And we're going to slot it right underneath this one. Uh, there we go. So, if we link them all together, we should have a, a better understanding or a, a stronger structure to begin with. So attach that to there, attach it to here, excellent. Go to the other side, do the same thing. There to there, excellent. There we go, very nice. Go here, go to the rear. Grab it from there, attach it down to here, that's fine. And then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing right down to there. There we go, so we need to get more of these. We're probably gonna get like three more, attach them all on, and then we're gonna go from there. Third one is now being added. Let's go ahead and drive it up the ramp. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! Oh, that's the first one that we've had issues with. Oh no! Oh no, it's actually probably gonna get stuck here. That's not good. Wait, hang on. Put it in reverse. 
If it can get out of this, that'd be brilliant. There we go. Okay, that's lucky. So I need to line up better than that this time, uh, and that'll be better. Okay, let's go. So we need to drive it on straight. Also, side note, I need to turn that one off because it's currently um, got its lights on, and that'll make my game even laggier than it already is with an A380 and three front loaders. These front loaders aren't small, by the way. They're actually quite large. It's just the fact that the A380 is so big that they look quite small on it, which is crazy. But, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and line this one up. We're going to lower the bucket. Whoa. I'm going a bit off the rails here. Hang on. Oh, don't fall off the side. All right. Okay, here we go. That's lucky. <laughs> That's very lucky. Okay, drive it forwards. Go ahead and get it underneath there, and we'll go from there. Come on. Forwards and sideways a little bit. There we go. Drive it forwards. Lower the bucket down. We're going a bit fast now. Okay. Go ahead and attach it directly underneath this. Okay. A bunch of weight that is actually going to be moving around is not really good for being on the back of an aircraft, but it's what we have. So it's what we're going we're gonna to work with. Uh, right. Attach that onto here. There we go. Grab this one. Send it to the other side. Grab this one. Attach it onto there. All right. Next. We need to go backwards even further. Grab this one. In fact, push it over a bit. There we go. Just a little bit. Attach it onto there. Excellent. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and attach this one onto here. And that is brilliant too. Excellent. Okay. So my game is actually slowing down a little bit right now, I do believe. Actually, it's not slowing down massively. It's just whenever I spawn something in. So I think this might be the last one. But with that being said... I don't know whether we should be making, like, I don't know, whether we should, like, slow it down at this point. What's the point? We might as well just whack on another one, right? So let's drive this one up, and uh, we'll go ahead and get it on there, and then we'll get another one, and we'll put that on too. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. As long as it fits. It might not even fit. Do you reckon we can fit another one? I think maybe. We might be able to fit another one. Just whack this one as far forward as we can. Also, I'm seemingly pushing them all over to the left a little bit. So I'm going to whack this in reverse real quick. And we're going to move this one further right. And hopefully that'll be okay. I have not tested this aircraft out in terms of its performance, in terms of lifting things. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I need to figure out how heavy these, these are as well. Because if this front loader is actually not that heavy, then it'll be fine. But I feel like it is going to be quite heavy. Not going to lie. It's a front loader, you know? They're not, they're not small machines. Anyway, attach that onto there. Grab this one. Attach it onto this side. Yes. You guys have seen me do this enough. Um, all right, here we go. The rear one. Yep. And then the other side. Let's go. All right, attach that to there. Attach it to there. Oh, yes. Okay, can we fit another one? Let's do it. We can fit another one. Just look at how crazy that looks right there. That is an aircraft with four wheel loaders on it. That is so strange. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But anyway, it's going to have five in a second. Uh, this will be the last one. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about this. Like, the ramp on the back was broken when I decided to actually start loading these. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure why I ended up loading as many as I did. Because it might not even work. Uh, especially if the ramp doesn't go up. Which the ramp will not go up. Unless we just keep it in a straight line. That will work, I suppose? But anyway, let's go ahead and lift the bucket up. Here we go. Line ourselves up a little bit better. Ride ourselves up onto the actual aircraft. Here we go. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and lower it down. There we go. The bucket's lowering. So we can attach it directly onto the butt of the one in front. There we go. And let's leave it around here. Excellent. So jump out. Yep. Okay. Attach all of these guys onto the floor. There you go. That bit's done. This bit is next. Okie dokie. This bit right here. Oh, wow. Okay, it is actually quite far back on the aircraft. I'm not going to lie. All right, and then this bit right here as well. Excellent. Now what we need to do is lift this up. And we might as well leave it just like that, because otherwise <laughs> this this one will not work. No, not that one. This one. I can lower it to there. In fact, I can lower it to, to there. Oh, slightly, kind of. That one on that side's not working, but the one on the other side is. I'm not sure what to do here. We can leave it straight up in the air like that, or... Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. We're gonna leave them straight up in the sky. 
Yeah. Not the best ramp in the world, but it's a ramp nevertheless. It's not like the stuff on the back of this is streamlined anyway, so that's probably fine. <laughs> it would be really bad in real life, though. It'd be very bad. Okay, is everybody ready for this? Is everybody ready? Let's have a little look. So we need the hydraulics on. Uh, I don't know whether the field cutoffs are needed. I don't think so. Crossfeed, yes. APU, we don't have one anymore, remember? We need the hydraulic systems, yes and yes. Uh, PD PFDs, yep, we need all of those. Uh, avionics, battery, uh, engine generators, yes, yes, yes. And APU generator isn't a thing. Strobe lights, sure. Uh, beacon lights, sure. And navigation lights, yes. Okay, good. Uh, is everything on? Everything appears to be on. Okay, excellent. Start the engines. There we go. Hopefully they will start. Do I need this? I'm not sure whether I need that or not. I can't remember. Fuel cutoffs usually are off, right? But they've turned on, so I guess that's fine. Right. This is going to have to be the most gentle takeoff ever. Because they're all attached via ropes. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Okay, if everybody's ready, we're just going to go ahead and throttle up uh, quite... Quite abruptly, to be totally honest with you guys, we still need to get this thing in the sky. So that makes sense. Park your brake off. Okay, is it moving? It's not moving currently. Alright, throttle up even more. Is it moving now? It is moving! Okay, right. So we gotta get this thing into the sky. Oh, this is... Oh, look at them all move. They're all moving backwards. The thrust is pushing them all backwards. <laughs> oh no, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Right, we're lifting off. We're in the sky. Okay, they're pushing the ramp down. They're, they're trying to reverse up the ramp. <laughs> what is going on? Remember, they are all actually tied down. But, okay. The rope is apparently quite stretchy. Oh, wow. Oh, this is not right. This is so not right. You know what? It is actually flying, though. The landing gear is going up, and uh, they haven't actually fallen off. So, does that mean that we passed the test? I guess the test is if we can actually land this thing back down on the ground again uh, without all of them being destroyed. I haven't tried to turn yet. I know that's going to be really bad, but... Wait, we don't have any... Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to uh, attach the yaw. And in this game, the yaw is so important. Oh no, okay, we're gonna have to fly this without any yaw. That's not good. The rudders don't work. Okay, I've rolled this quite far. Uh, the rear one is is currently getting a... Uh, oh, this isn't good. Uh, the fact that I've forgotten the yaw is actually incredibly bad. I would have been able to stay in like level flight and slowly turned. But now we actually have to bank uh, in order to actually turn, which is incredibly dangerous. Especially carrying this many front loaders. <laughs> oh, this is silly. This is so silly. All right, we need to line up on that runway ASAP. So we're actually just going to go ahead and turn it in. Here we go. Turn it. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and drop the landing gear down straight away. And we're going to have to pull up in order to actually get this in the right location. We're going to have to have, like, a perfect landing on this. It's ridiculous. And because we don't have yaw, this is in incredibly hard to do. But here we go. So we're, we're almost in line. Okay, we can land in the middle of the runway. That's fine. Uh, I mean, in between the taxiway and the runway. That's okay. We're going to try a landing uh, like this. <laughs> this is this is not good. This is not good. Okay, here we go. We need to slow it down a little bit. Let's bring it down to, like, 100. There we go. We're still flying, so that's good. The rear one is still on. That's fantastic. Okay. And we're going in for a landing. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. Here it goes. We're going in. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's going to be quite a tricky landing because we do have to go over a hill in order to land here. We're going to go ahead and throttle down fully. Oh, that's, that's not good. Okay. Lift up. Okay. We're down. Every one of them bounced. We are on the ground. Okay, reverse thrusters. Okay, good. And we have actually landed. Pack your brake on. Yeah. We did it. We actually just did it. That's ridiculous. Turn all of the engines off. 
Let's get outside and have a little look at this. Let's see if this works. Look at it. We landed with all of them on board. Even with no yaw. That's incredible. That is so incredible. Hot diggity dog. Nice. All right. Well, anyway, uh, that was amazing. I really liked that. We might try and transport something else on the back of this in the future. We'll see. But for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, the plane will be linked down below with the actual passenger cabin on it. And also, the front loader will be linked down below too, if you guys want to check those out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.